Keith Barnett, back from Nevada. Uh, you split this series against the Wolf Pack out there. Yeah. Really, really close, except those last two sets were, were not. Just tell me what your impression of your team. Uh, yeah, Nevada was starving. They were hungry. They were 0-4. Uh, you know, took the, took the first set off of us. They served really, really well. Uh, we were missing Cam and trying to solve our lineup issues and uh, managed to do that in the third and fourth sets, and they beat us in the fourth by a couple points, and that's kind of how their season has gone. Uh, talked to their head coach before the match and told our team before the match. Uh, you know, they'd won and lost some sets, 32-30, 25-23, you know, 25-23, 26-24. They were right there. Uh, and so they pulled out the fourth set, and then we pulled out the first set the next day, and then rolled the next two. And uh, you know, we had some really, really good production from Aaron Sires in the middle. Uh, you know, Savannah Neal did a really, really nice job. Uh, and then Joy, I mean, Joy was cleaning up on people and doing the things that she was supposed to do at six foot four. Um, she actually blocked the ball once where she didn't even leave the ground. So that, that's nice. That is nice. Yeah. Uh, you had a couple of injuries, but it seems to me like you have enough pieces now. So is it just figuring out where to put everyone, and do you feel like maybe you're learning more? Yeah, where to put everyone, uh, who's on that day. I think that's, that's a big piece, too. Uh, you know, norovirus doesn't ever help anybody. Uh, so we're hoping Cam's recovered from that. Um, so, yeah, we're just we're, we're rolling, you know, and we discovered a nice little piece in Erin, being able to play middle and, and doing the things she was doing, playing opposite before. Uh, we knew she played middle and club, but she was really, really good. Yeah. You come home, you take on the New Mexico Lobos. Tell me what you know about the Lobos. Yeah, real athletic team. Uh, they've got a kid on the outside, number two. Uh, she played it opposite for them earlier in the season. Uh, they have an injury. to to. They have a kid from Mexico who's really, really good. Um, and so I'm hoping that, you know, if, if they're healthy, we're ready. Uh, and they have a kid on the right side who's 6'4", uh, and, and just really, really sizable, good, you know, just strong, too. Um, so they're they're talented. Uh, they run a five one right now. Uh, setter's real good. Goes off one foot all the time, and I mean they're they're going to be a tough out. Yeah, for sure. It's my job to point out all the great things. You've beaten CSU. Yeah. You're now five hundred after six games in the Mountain West, first time ever, I believe. And and I know you probably want to downplay that a little bit. Is your team seeing that? And are they up here? Or are they down here? Or are they even keel? Uh, even keel, I think right now. I think I think the there's a a bit of sense of overwhelm with the academy right now. You know the the academics have picked up quite a bit. Recognition is upcoming for the freshmen. We're in season during recognition, first time ever. Um, so there, there's some there's some pieces there, some elements that are uh, I think keeping us a little on edge, uh, which is good. Uh, but at the same time, you know we're maybe not as realistic about where we are uh, you know three and three is, is pretty good I think we could be four and two you know we're one point away uh, so yeah you know we, we could be doing a little better but uh, you know we'll find out this weekend and then we're home again yeah certainly so two weeks in a row it'll be great yeah keep Barnett good luck this weekend thanks